On the morning of April 29th, the lifeless body of 28-year-old Aaron Trawick was discovered in a sensory deprivation tank at the Solex Spa in Washington, D.C. Trawick, a biohacker who injected himself with an untested gene therapy just months earlier, sparked a web of conspiracy theories and speculation surrounding his untimely death. Trawick was part of a growing community known as body hackers, or biohackers, with a goal to cure diseases, combat aging, and ultimately conquer death. Biohackers like Trawick, aiming to bypass slow drug approval processes, often test experimental therapies on themselves. But the quest to accelerate humanity's transition to a future outside of natural evolution has raised concerns about potential adversaries. Noted futurist Zoltan Istvan, who worked alongside Trawick, suggests a conspiracy within the Food and Drug Administration, FDA. He believes that the medical system prioritizes profits over cures and sees biohackers as threats to the status quo. Tristan Roberts, another biohacker and associate of Trawick, echoes the sentiment, emphasizing the potential threat from those profiting off the existing system. Despite initial skepticism, he acknowledges the suspicions surrounding Trawick's death. The FDA refrained from commenting on the conspiracy claims but expressed concern about the safety risks of self-administered gene therapies. The Solex Spa declined to comment on the circumstances, and the police found no evidence of foul play. Beyond the FDA conspiracy, other theories within the biohacking community suggest internal disputes. Trawick's controversial approach with Ascendance Biomedical, a startup promoting experimental therapies, led to disputes with fellow biohackers. Rich Lee, a former friend and business partner, accuses Trawick of unethical practices and suggests a possible feud between biohackers. As Trawick's death remains a mystery, an autopsy is expected to shed light on the circumstances. Regardless of the outcome, Trawick's life, marked by controversial choices and unorthodox methods, draws attention to the world of gene therapies and biohacking, an idea that, despite its challenges, continues to percolate through the human subconscious. Aaron's life is an example of how not to organize biomedicine, says Tristan Roberts. Good intentions can only get one so far. In the shadows of Trawick's death, the enigmatic world of biohackers unfolds, raising questions about the future of medical research and the ethical boundaries of pushing scientific frontiers.